monitor of the Honeybee Airflex header. Um, tell us what's new for in-cab features. Uh, the best in-cab cab feature we have is the Honeybee Automatics box. This is a box that controls the header and gives you the ability to switch between a rigid cutting mode and a flexible cutting mode. To be able to do that, all you need to do is push a button and our onboard compressor along with our onboard air tank uh, starts up and we can change the header from the flexible mode which we use in the pulse crops into the rigid mode for your wheats, your barleys, etc. like that. It takes five minutes of time for the airbags to fill up and for the air system to fill up to make that transition from flexible cutter bar to rigid. One of the other great features of the automatics box is that while you're running in the flexible mode with the push of a button you can increase or decrease the pressure on your airbags to give you a little bit more or a little bit little less float as you're harvesting the crop. It means that you're always going to have the ultimate cutter bar experience while you're harvesting. So why would a grower want to change that flexibility? I think over the course of the day conditions change. A crop will dry out a little bit more. You might have some moisture early in the evening and what it means is that you're going to get more cutting time out of your header before you have to go in for the night. Okay, so we're at the front of the machine now. Let's talk a little bit about flexibility. Where are we going to see that on the header? Okay, the Honeybee Airflex has a flexible cutter bar on it, naturally. Uh, there's nine inches of flex across the cutter bar, which can be put in multiple locations. As you can see on the cutter bar here right now, we've got a couple blocks up to replicate what it might be like in the field conditions, and we've got that true flex where it goes over the cutter bar over the full distance. The other thing about the cutter bar that we need to remember is that it's independently suspended so that there's no weight on the cutter bar. The cutter bar just floats across your crop with the weight landing on the drapers and the decks. There are also no cross augers on this. What are you doing to deal with the, the crop that way? It's, uh, it's a great patent innovation by the R&D department at Honeybee where they came up with the deflector shield. The deflector shield replaces the pea auger and what that deflector shield does is it takes the crop as it gets pushed back into the back panel, it flips it over onto the deck so that we get smooth feeding into the feeder house. Is maintenance pretty easy on this? It's almost a maintenance-free machine. There are a few grease points on a couple of our mechanical drives uh, that are 10-hour 10 10 and 50-hour grease points. Other than that, it's a maintenance-free machine. So you mentioned mechanical drive. What are you talking about? Honeybee has two different mechanical drives on their machine. Our, our draper decks are mechanically driven as well as our knife. Our knife, you can see at the front of the machine down there, uh, it's a mechanical drive with two pitman arms that drive the knife that's in sync across the machine. The reason for the synchronization is to get rid of almost all the vibration on the machine so that you have an, ex an enjoyable experience in the cab. So okay. um, can we talk a bit about the fingers? Uh, they, they look a bit strange in terms of if there's some damage, are they pretty easy to replace? Yeah, this is the Honeybee Reel and it, it utilizes a lot of features, but one of the great features on it is finger replacement and putting fingers in. Across the bat of the reel, you can put multiple fingers in place, um, as many as you want or as few as you want. It's very easy to do. You pull the spacer out, and with a 5 8 wrench, you take the finger and insert it into the tube, and you've got a replacement finger. It takes less than a minute to replace a finger. And then you can space them however <laughs> far apart you need. You can, if you're, if you're in a light crop and uh, you want more fingers on your reel, you can add, they're spaced right now at three inches, you could space them an inch apart, an inch and a half apart, or two inches apart to get the maximum use out of your reel. All right, can we talk about how easy the reel is to adjust? Yeah, one of the things that we want to do with the Honeybee reel is to make it easy adjustable. Uh, as you can see, it's a very easy, just pull the latch out and you can switch the, the pitch of the tine, which changes the aggressiveness of the reel from a very aggressive uh, pitch to a very soft pitch, depending upon the crop that you want to use, which makes that reel usable in all different types of crops. All right, so now we're beside the transport system. It's two pieces. It's a two-piece transport system, uh, which is a great design feature uh, for the Airflex header. This goes under the struts of the Airflex header. You take the straps, lock them in, you winch up the trailer into place and then put two locks in place and you have the support system for your trailer system. On the front end we've got a ball and hitch system where you pull the hitch off the ball, slide the tube in, drop the header down so it goes on the ball, 
lock the ball, hook your truck up to the transport, and away you go. It's a system that takes less than five minutes to put in place and makes moving your header from location to location really, really easy. Another feature of this system is the electrical brake system and lighting system. That's just a snap-on, easy-to-use system, which makes moving your header quick and efficient. What's the price of this whole unit? The ballpark figure of this unit is about $96,000 MSRP, uh, and you can talk to dealers throughout Western Canada and the United States about this header and what it will do on their combines. Jimmy, thank you so much. All right.